Okay, Koholayam Yahawa Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah Ba Hashem Kodash. I want to give the bonus to the elders Apostle Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere believers of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. My name is Lamadia. And, and this video is going to be entitled When It Becomes Mandatory. Now, before we used to say that the MOTB is coming. Now we say that when it becomes mandatory, because we no longer say it's coming because it's here. But now we're looking for it to become mandatory and they push it on, on the mass of the people. And that's going to lead into Jacob's trouble. So that's going to be the premise of this topic. Now, I uploaded and um, I recorded and I uploaded, you know, the video. And within three to five minutes, you know, the spirit told me, click on the video. And I realized the video didn't have no audio. And the audio doesn't appear to like towards the end of the video. So. I took the video down and I decided to do the video um, again. So um, the inspiration of this video or this topic was drawn from a video I watched from the elder apostle of Ramlab. And he brought this information up, this information um, out about this company named Humane. So I want to play a video and give a little background on what is humane. So here we go. Humane finally released a demo of their iPhone killer. They're that secretive AI company founded by ex-Apple employees that raised $230 million. It's a wearable AI assistant that comes with a projector that can pop up on surfaces like your hand. Their goal is to make technology less intrusive and more seamless to integrate with everyday life. I'm not sure I'm convinced. What do you think? Is this better than screens? The future of technology might almost be invisible. Humane finally released a demo of their iPhone killer. They're that secretive AI company founded by ex-Apple employees that raised 200. Okay, there you go. Uh, let me see if I can pay something else. So pretty much this company, Humane, they the idea is merging man with technology and we know this is part of this b system now let me see if i can find something else now here you see um let me see this is when the technology was being pitched towards the people and he was showing how he's able to answer calls through his through his hand why would anybody do let me this? see if i could find the actual um it's because we love building there we go sorry come invisible and that the computer would disappear and we agree sorry this is my wife. I'm going to have to get this. Hello? Hey, there. hey, Bethany. How's it going? Good. Are you with Ted? Yeah, I'm on the red circle right now, actually. Oh, great. Good luck. And don't forget to mention me. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, babe. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you, too. Bye. Bye. It's going to get different in a minute. Um, so my wife, Bethany, and our entire company at Humane have been working to answer the question of what comes next. And you may ask yourself, why? Why would anybody do this? Um, it's because we love building technology that genuinely makes people's lives better. And we believed that artificial intelligence or AI would be the driving force behind the next 
leap in device design. And there is an incredible amount of stuff that's happening in this space. Huge, huge advancements. So you see how this technology is being pitched to the people. And, and it's all about technology and advancement and entering a new age. And that's how they're going to pitch this new, um, it's like they're going to pitch this um, MOTB. And yeah, the, this new world, this order. So um, I want to read Proverbs um, 14. And uh, give me a second. Okay. Proverbs 14 and 12. There is a way where semen right unto a man. Because the way they pitching this new concept, this new way of living, is by advancement, convenience, and entering a new age. So it seems like a right thing to comply. It seems like something that's for the embedment of human life that's how he's pitching it so it seemed right unto man but the end thereof are the ways of death because this the most high is not with this um technology and um this is all ushering the motb which is found in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter. Now it says the end of it, the end, the end thereof are the ways of death because a lot of people that accept this MOTB thinking it's going to make life better. And at the same time, a lot of people are going to take it because they're going to force it upon the people and they're going to make it mandatory. We see, we seen what they did with the, with the jab, and the pressure they put on the people to take it, even though there was a lot of people that was opposed to the, to that was opposed to receive it, but it, a lot of them end up taking it anyway because they feared losing their job, they feared not paying their bills on time or their mortgage, so they just complied and the same format is going to be for the MOTB but it says but the end thereof are the ways of death because if you take it you're going to be destroyed now in the book of Revelation the 16th chapter it goes on to explain um, some of the plagues that's going to fall upon the people that, that do receive it so let's go to Revelation 16 and 1 and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pull out the vows on the wrath of the Mo of the wrath of the Most High upon the earth. Now, the vows are the plagues that the Most High is going to bring on the earth. And it says, verse two. And the first went and poured out his vows upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon them it's like it upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image so now the the, the ones that have the the mark of the beach or the motb or worship his image worship his image is referencing to comply or conform to this agenda because when you take it you're now conforming or in conformity so we're going to focus on and there fell a noisome and grievous saw now a person re reading this may say oh that noisome is the nuclear destruction and the grievous saw is the burning 
from the nuclear fire. It's, we know it's not talking about that. Because when we go into the Greek for noisome, and that's why I might do um, pull up noisome and grievous. Okay, let me just play the Greek word. Strong's G, 2556. Kakas. Kakas. Okay, now. Now, I have here of a bad nature, not such as out to be of a of a mode of thinking feeling acting based wrong wicked troublesome um injurious pernicious destructed um baneful so it's really mean injurious let's see if i can find more okay Let's read here from Kakas. Apparently, apparently a primary word worthless, such as whereas G4190 properly refers to effects. An example, um, depraved or injurious. There you go. That's what it means, injurious. Bad, evil harm harm is the same as injurious ill ill the same as injur injurious noisome and wicked they put the word noisome back in it so we know it has nothing to do with sound now um son told me to look up the word noise i just wanted to know what the word noise mean so now if you look up the english definition it takes you to a sound especially especially one that is loud or unpleasant or that causes disturbance now we look we dig a little deeper into the word and take it to the latin no see or no see and and that's where you get the word nausea which will means seasickness or or sick sickness um you see here from from the latin no, nausea seasickness see nausea nausea uh okay take you back to the greek no ship so it goes back to something that's um like you can take it back to the word of nausea, something that will leave you ill or sick or injurious. So that's what that that word noisa mean. Something ill. A uh, ailment. Oh, I went back too far. So it says a noisome and grievous soul. Now look at the word grievous. Strong's G, 4190. Paneras. Paneras. Okay. I'll say full of labor, annoyance, hardship, um, pressed and harassed by labor, labors, um, bringing toils, annoyance, perils, or perils, of a time full of perils to Christian faith and steadfastness causing pain and trouble bad or of a bad nature or condition a, a physical sense diseased or blind or ethnical sense evil wicked or bad so 
something other words mean something that bad or um something that's causing pain so that's what's going to happen to those that take this MOTB they're going they're going to get very ill they're going to develop different type forms of cancers different infections and it's going to be grievous unbearable pain upon men which had the um, MOTB and upon them which worship his image that's why I read this scripture on Proverbs 14 and 12 there's a way which seeming right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death because all of these things going to lead to death now if you survive these ailments the, this um different cancers you're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire let's read that in revelation the 14th chapter um verse 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the motb the same should drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation so the wrath and the wrath of the most high is talking about the destruction and it says um and he should he should and he should be tormented with fire and brimstone and the presence of the holy angels that's the missile and um in the presence the fire is talking about the missile and brimstone it says and in the presence of the lamb the lamb is referencing to you how so that's that's what's going to happen destruction so i just wanted to say that it's no longer being said it's coming it's here already it's all about when they make it mandatory so that was that was the tire title to the video when they make it mandatory and um we've been teaching this beginning with the elder pastor hall on down we've been teaching it but um a lot of guys been pushing back like general um general Johanna, the bishop nathaniel these guys been pushing back but what happens when it become mandatory that's the time we approaching it's no longer about when it comes because now it's, it's everywhere we're approaching the the mandation part now and these guys gonna have a lot of explaining to do the ones that have been opposed to what we've been teaching so uh, I'm, I'm gonna close on that um lord willing this video was edifying and i'm gonna say oh praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahusha, by Hashem Rokar Kudash, Shalom.